How's it going for you guys so far? It's going, you know. It's a little more chill at New York Comic Con. Yeah, it's chill. Is it just because New Yorkers are cooler? That's exactly right. That's exactly it. That's a nice way of putting it. Cold. Distant atmosphere. Thank you. Thank you. So what do you guys most excited about when you see this? Well, I'm excited about the fact that I'm going to be a new direction. Yeah. I think our show is a very different feel this year. Like, even from the way it's cut together, the way the shots look, the way it's lit, there's just a different feel. It feels more intense, it's more unpredictable, the pace has gone up, the action is better. Like, I, I think that that's... Yeah, and the, the kind of atmosphere of New York is put more into the show this season. Mark Bedowitz for the CW really wanted us to adapt that in season two, and, you know, we actually come here once a month now to shoot several scenes that get weaved into the show. I'm from Toronto. What is it like you guys to be in Toronto? <laughs> <laughs> I have, this year, I've been saying this a lot, but this year I've really enjoyed being in Toronto. Last year I wanted to murder myself, and it wasn't because of Toronto, I think it was because of the hours we were working. But this year I had time, so like walking down the street's been lovely. I've really enjoyed it, and I like being in Canada. 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 <laughs> Jay's a really good Canadian. <laughs> Have you got any feedback from the folks in New York when you're filming here? Do they yell out to you? Like, what's wrong with you? Why are you treating her so bad? <laughs> you know, she's, a, she's a beauty, a piece, a bastard. That's probably the nicest thing. You say. Have, you, have you gotten any street reaction? Uh, not, not yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. kind of like, get out of the way. What are you doing? That's about it. <laughs> do that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just you. Normal. Yeah, that's normal. Uh -oh, I thought it was specific. No. <laughs> no, actually, it's more tourists that get in the way when we're shooting in New York. Really? Yeah. Yeah. They always get away. They always get real people don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's the Toronto people. <laughs> oh, I got a quick question for you. This is you, no offense. Uh, so many boys club out there with the Avengers and all the big yeah. superhero movies like that. It's going to fall upon you to create a strong female lead for the young women out there who are watching it. Do you, does that ever come into play when you're doing stuff like, you know, I'm a role model whether I like it or not? So, it's been is it a burden? My whole thing. Well, not a damsel in distress like Smallville, but now yeah. you're like kicking ass. No, so. it's really important to me. Yeah. To, I mean, this show sometimes it could get a little precarious for, you know, right. it's a beast creature. Yeah. Um, and, and in the beginning of the season, Catherine is not as strong as I would want her to be, but she's a flawed human being. It makes sense that right. she would struggle. But it's so important to me to have strong female role models out there. And I agree with you. I think that if you're in the public eye, public eye you are a role model, no matter what, right, right. what your perspective on being a role model is. People look up to you, and that's just true. You know, um, so I think it's important to be mindful of what you're presenting. Okay. You also. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Along those lines, do you have an input on in the or an input for the character? Or like any, any we, have, we have input. Um, the, the girls are very collaborative. Actually, Rad is too. Everyone's quite collaborative. I think this year, I don't know about Jay, but I've, I've kind of stepped back a little bit and let them do their thing. Um, they have a very strong arc that they're, they're trying to tell in this season, and, and sometimes that means that Catherine is doing things that are difficult for me to watch her do, but that's part of what makes drama good. Uh, you also, I mean, you did Smallville, obviously, and then you did Space Milkshake. Yeah. Did you? It was amazing. <laughs> She's the one. <laughs> so good. Um, but you keep going back to genre roles. Like, what is it about this world that makes you want to keep working? Well, I think there's two parts to that answer. The first one is, they're the roles that keep coming to me. Um, the second part is I really like being able to explore metaphor, metaphor at a really grand scale. And you can look at, you know, in Beauty and the Beast, we're looking at these themes, but you can, it doesn't have to be, you know, super hyper-realistic. You can do crazy stuff. And I think that's fun. Yeah. Hey, Jay, the fans respond to you sometimes when you're doing some bad stuff on the show. Like, what's your problem? And you're like, it's just, okay. it's just a role, man. I know, it's so not me. I'm a nice guy. Lines, I donate stuff to charities all the time. <laughs> it's funny because they don't, actually. They don't? No, it's kind of strange. I expect a lot of sort of more flack for some of the 
things that Vincent does. And maybe this season he's a little more dangerous and he, he sort of crosses the line a bit more. So maybe. I'm pretty angry with him during the Alex arc last year. Yeah, he, he was when he was running around with the redhead. They were pretty. Uh, <laughs> Too tight. Pretty right in the face about that one. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, but, you know, in terms of the other sort of moral aspects of the show, Vincent actually assassinating people. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't hurt any dogs. You know, so yeah. They'll get on you. Yeah. So what's it been like playing kind of the relationship now that, you know, you don't have lost your memory and that sort of thing? So how has that been versus like last year? I think it's more dynamic. It gives us something completely different to play with. Um, it's, you know, we don't fall into patterns of last year because everything's completely fresh. And Vincent's a lot tougher to work around and navigate, so I think it gives you more of a challenge. Um, yeah, he's, she has no idea what he's going to do on tour. Like, no sense of where he's going to go. His, and I think Vincent's options are greater in some ways. He's not stuck in the same world he was before. Totally. <laughs> She's kind of off kilter from finding out everything about her dad. And, so. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer and Sherry were just here. They were talking about this new scene that they showed where you strike her because you don't know what's going on. And we were talking about how the whole new aspect of this haven't talked about. What was your response when you saw that in the script? Like, wait, he's going to hit me now? Uh, that was, uh, actually, I was, I was pretty shocked. Really? We, we both I, were, I yeah. think. I mean, it's a serious thing to confront. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but I, I think that... I think it was important that we go there and actually look at it. Yeah, it's it's tough. I actually haven't seen the scene. Yeah, um, I actually missed it. Yeah, but you know, when you read it for the yeah. first time, you know, thinking, you know, how are we going to make this work and not be, you know, especially for you, I think. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, in terms of where the character is and why he does it, I can completely understand because he is this hot boiling mess of aggression, and he has this. And but, Catherine pushes specifically on the most difficult. She's things. looking for a reaction, and she gets. Well, she's, not looking, she's looking for answers, but he's not providing them. Yeah. And so, yeah. <laughs> it's a tough thing. It's yeah, hard. It is. It's yeah. really difficult. It's difficult. One more question puts the pressure on. Um, do you think Vincent's going to re regain his memory, or is it more like? No, he definitely, he definitely does. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Who are you? No, he. As Vincent sort of regains his humanity, he regains his memory as well, and that's all done through Catherine. She is a determined woman. <laughs> You know, and so she really, she really breaks through to him, and he realizes that he isn't just this robotic super soldier that's out to assassinate. He does have a former life, and uh, we learn a lot more about his former life, more so than season one. Back to his brothers, his family. Kristen, they would kill me with uh, New Man of Steel out there. We have to ask, who's still your favorite Superman? Um, I haven't seen him. Uh, I have to say Tom. Okay, there you go. Good, good answer. George Reeves. Good answer. He's gone, so he won't hear it. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks, guys.